87, what is 40% of 200? Now we could think about this mentally or we could use the formula. Let's do both ways. First, let's focus on it mentally. What do you think 10% of 200 is? 10% of 200, all you gotta do is move the decimal point one unit to the left to get the answer. That's gonna be 20. That's a 10th of 200. If 10% of 200 is 20, what's 20% 20 of 200? Well, if 10% is 20, 20% 20 is twice the amount of 10%, so it should be twice the amount of 20, which is 40. Now, what's 40% 40 of 200? It's twice the amount of 20%. Twice the amount of 40 is 80. So 80 is gonna be the answer. But now let's get the same answer using the formula. So here's a percent formula that you could use. The part is equal to the base times the rate. Or in short, P is equal to B times R. The rate is the percentage. The base, that is the whole value. It's the number that is associated with the word of. The part, well, as the word says, that's the part that you're looking for. And it's typically associated with the word is. So in this problem, what is 40% of 200? The 40%, the fact that it has a percent next to it, that's the rate. So this is R of 200. The word of that's associated with the whole value, that is the base. So we're looking for the part in this problem. So we want to calculate P. So P is equal to the base. The base is 200 times the rate. 40%, you want to convert that to a decimal. So you got to take 40% divided by 100, which is the same as moving the decimal point two units to the left. So 40% is 0.40. So we're going to take 200 and multiply it by 0.40. Feel free to use a calculator for that, and that will give you 80. So that's how you could use the percent formula to answer questions like this.